You really see some wild stuff out here. I'm about three miles from the Arizona state line. I'm headed to Tucson today because I'm going to kick back and watch me some football and just enjoy it. And maybe get my nostrils cleared up a little bit because the, the dry heat out here is so bad. I mean, and that's all I can say. Your nose, your nostrils say so dry, but I'll get a close up of this because I thought it was really wild. Isn't that pretty cool? I'm on Interstate 10 going west headed towards Tucson, Arizona, but I just thought that was really weird. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Gotta love the scenery out here. It's just wide open west. Okay, another state down. Headed to Tucson, Arizona, but I'm at the Arizona line, mile marker number one, but going to the warmer weather because cold, chilly New Mexico nights, you know. I've had about two months of them, so. And if you look across the interstate, you see the Welcome to New Mexico sign, so we're saying goodbye to New Mexico. Goodbye, New Mexico. Hello, Arizona. Here we come. Headed to Tucson. I know I said that a couple times, but that's where I'm going, to greener pastures and warmer weather. Got to get away from this cold. I wanted to get a shot of this because I'm in Arizona now. Totally different landscape. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty pretty. The scenery is unreal. Breathtaking. It really is. Beautiful. Okay, as you can see again, we moved camp. Um, it's pretty nice. It's about 77 degrees. We're at the Cactus Forest and it's off of um, Interstate 10 going west. Probably about 40 miles outside of uh, Tucson, Arizona. So, um, anyway, yeah, we moved camp. Uh, think we'll stay here for two or three days. I, ha I have to keep an eye on Little Man because he's sniffing all around and there's all kind of holes in the ground and who knows what's in those holes. So, I'll show you around camp. I'm going to have a fire tonight, so let me show you around camp a little bit. Okay, there's old Sniffy. Come on, Little Man. Come over here with Daddy. Come on. Come on, big boy. Yeah. That's my pretty boy. Yeah. You like running around. You gotta watch where you sniff, though. See, so you got holes all over the place, like that hole right there. Don't go over there. Come here, little man. Come on. Let's go over here. Come on, baby. Good boy. Bun. Got this big old cactus right here in front of the, my camp spot, but, um. Had a hard time backing in there, I really did, but um, let's walk over here a little bit. As you can see, the sun's kind of going down. I had to put Little Man in the camp because there's no way I can film and keep an eye on him at the same time, especially out here because every place you look, they got holes in the ground. And I'm not really sure about what's in them, if anything, but I got me a little bit of firewood. I'm glad me fire tonight and kind of like just kick back and chill. As you can see, the sun's setting, but it's a pretty nice campground. Pretty secluded. I mean, if you get lonely or you don't like being by yourself, this is not exactly the type of camping you would do because, I mean, it's straight up here. I'm about four miles off the road, and I think I'm one of the last camp spots because there's no road once you get here. But anyway, I mean, it's pretty nice, though. I mean, a beautiful day. As you can see, the road kind of ends right here, but um, I didn't want to really go down there because that's kind of like a gully. And I didn't think, you know, I needed to be going down there, but these are the holes I'm talking about. I have no idea what's in them, but I mean, they are everywhere. I mean, I don't know if they're snakes or groundhogs or what they are, but I figured I'd keep Little Man in the camper unless I'm walking along with him, but... I know the, I wouldn't push my Subaru down this road, but um, well, I'll check that out. Isn't that pretty? That's really nice. I mean, you see so many different things when you travel. Like, I mean, one day you're in the mountains, the next day you're out in the desert. I mean, there's just so much to see. I mean, I guess that's an old cactus undyed. I mean, 
I'd hate to fall into something like that, but it looks like the road's good again. I was just, I didn't want to go too deep down in here because I didn't want to get hung up and not be able to get out of here because I do have phone service. I do have internet service. I do have a little bit of TV, but I didn't come out here to do that kind of stuff. So it's good to have it, especially the phone, but it's not necessary you know the TV and everything but the phone is nice to have just in case get another shot of that because to me that is so pretty I mean I wish the Sun would set so I get the sunset coming down behind it but that is so pretty just walking around checking out the camp really nice out here really peaceful if you like peace and quiet this is the place to be there's a little sniffy right there it's squirrely but I'm going to let him out, but he just, he wants to go around sniffing everything. I'm worried about to get hung up into something, and, you know. We're a long ways from a bit, but he's my baby, so I let him out. I just have to kind of like stay super close to him and watch everything he does, but he is my baby. He's my baby boy. He really is. It's my view sitting in the camper doorway. Pretty sweet, isn't it? My chair and. I got the fire over there and got a little man straight down here he's just staring at me but you know sniffy I don't know what can I say oh sniffy always oh, sniffy sniffy what do you see little man see big old cactuses out there yeah I wouldn't get hung up in them what are you doing baby huh I'm a young man 